Uh, our next comic is, um, he's got a Greek name, but he is American. He's a very good friend of mine. He's been performing since uh, the first show we've had here. So please give a very, very warm and hard round of applause for our next comedian, Socrates Inglesis. Keep going there for Ben! Making everybody feel happy and light together. Woohoo! Yeah! Which religion is the correct religion? You up front there? Okay. Who agrees with God? Hey! My name is Socrates. I am an American. Thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah. You must watch the news. You know your first mistake? Watching the news. Don't don't watch the news. It's not helpful. You know what I mean? The MC makes lots of logical case without paying attention to the news. I'm feeling funky up here. Yeah, it's a little backbeat. I don't know. So yeah, I've been uh, coming here for a little while. Uh, some of you people know me. Everyone's been asking how I'm doing. I don't know if you know it or not. Uh, I. Uh, Spent the last year or so going on a tour of the sick and houses of the hospitals around the place. And uh, I was up on stage with my arm basically hung out because I was taught this Dutch word that I didn't want to know, but I was forced to. That word was aangereden, which means to be slammed into, because I was aangereden into a scooter klotzak. Because uh, I got slammed into by this asshole in a scooter. And uh, basically, I came around a corner, and there was a scooter coming the other way. It's absolutely no backing music whatsoever. <laughs> and uh, I tried to explain to him what he was doing wrong, because he was on my side of the path, and there was a car on the bike path, too, and the feet's path. That's, you know, it's not for your feet, it's for the bikes. And it's definitely not for scooters, but I didn't have time to explain any of this to the guy, so all I had time to say was, ah! And then I went flying in the air, like a bird. But I landed like an octopus and squished up half of my arms and uh, spent the next year and a half going back and forth to the hospitals. Yeah, yeah, I learned uh, definitely at that point, uh, if they trying to get an ambulance and they ask you, are you going to pass out? The correct answer is yes. Because when I said, no, I don't think so, they said, take a taxi. I said, hang on a second, I'm getting a bit dizzy. I think I might pass out. I said, okay, we'll send you an ambulance, woo -hoo. Ambulance got there and he offered me fentanyl. Big difference between an ambulance and a taxi. <laughs> you can get fentanyl from a taxi, but you have to set it up beforehand. Ambulance had it with him. And I got in the hospital, they looked at my x-ray and they went, ah! Which is a horrible reaction to have anybody, especially a doctor, and they're looking at your x-ray. I saw it too, I was like, I hope that's not mine. <laughs> Winner, winner, chicken dinner, that was me. And uh, they said to me, uh, basically, would you like a shot of morphine? Because the paracetamol was not gonna be enough. Uh, but they treated me with what they call conservative treatment. Do you know what this is? It's nothing. <laughs> they gave me this blue strap. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the arm strap they give you. It's this blue strap. It's made out of some sort of cotton and it's got a piece of Velcro to make it modern and technological. And they sent me home with the words, it comes good. <laughs> Everyone who's ever gone to a doctor or a therapist, or in my case, also my butcher told me it comes good. I believed him because he knows bones. And they sent me home with that. The, the word it comes good is only, I think, helpful as a Yelp uh, review for like a sperm donor. <laughs> yeah, four stars. And I went home and I was supposed to like keep my arm exercise. So for like over a year and a half, I could only raise my arm about so high. And so I was in my backyard, they told me to push it up. So I was waving to my neighbors. Getting this really vibe, bad vibe from everybody. I was in Enschede a little while ago, which was right next to Germany. They knew what was going on. And I said to my doctor a while later, I said, hey doc, it's not coming good. I can't get my arm up higher than this. I have arm erectile dysfunction. And, you know, this is not any way to get coming good. He said, oh, hey, lass and pindicast. 
because he thought it was good enough, and it doesn't actually help. It's a Dutch phrase uh, means, oh well, peanut butter. If you didn't know what it meant, didn't help knowing, does it? Not in any way, shape, or form. But it rhymes, and the Dutch love a good rhyming uh, saying. My favorite Dutch rhyme, though, is uh, no get into cooking, which literally uh, means fucking in the kitchen. Uh, it's a Dutch saying. I'm not sure why. I've asked, uh, how do you use no get into cooking in, in context? <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows. The only thing I know possibly is that when you combine no get into cooking with hey lass and pit the cas, you end up with satay sauce. <laughs> So, hey, it's good to see you, Tomadios. Yeah, he'll be inside soon. And uh, so, basically, I finally had surgery done because they didn't really want to. Uh, I actually went to Germany for a second opinion because, uh, well, the Germans, they've already done all the experiments. <laughs> and I figured I had it done here anyway, so they took a bunch of screws in, then they took a bunch of screws out because, you know, the Dutch... And now I have an artificial shoulder. I have a reverse prosthetic up in here. Uh, so where I used to have a ball, now I have a socket. Where I had a socket, now I have a ball. So it's possible I have a trans shoulder. <laughs> That's a music kind of, kind of joke right there. But I thought, you know, everything was getting better because, you know, Jesus. Uh, turns out, no, a uh, month or so after I had final surgery, as I... Uh, Okay? Okay. I have, uh, so far, by the way, anybody else had uh, broken bones in here? Yeah. Just a couple? Anyone with surgeries? No real, a bunch of healthy, non uncoordinated people. <laughs> so I've had seven surgeries, six broken bones, and last month I had my first stroke. Yeah, so uh, in August I had a little stroke action. Woo! It was a beautiful sunny day, and I think if you know living here, uh, nothing like a beautiful sunny day to make you excited. And so I sat outside in the sun and I got a little excited and had a little stroke, which was cool because it was fun. I got a little tired afterwards, as one does. I took a nap for an hour and I had a big stroke. It was much worse kind too. Uh, you know, in fact, I, I learned something else that day. When you call up the ambulance and you say, I think I had a stroke, they don't tell you to take a taxi, they come right over. <laughs> which was impressive at the very least. So you know, uh, one thing with our president, you know, Donald Trump, or is that some guy in the audience that can't talk? So, you know, uh, our president, or former president, Donald Trump, still brags about the test that he took, the man-woman TV camera thing. Uh, they gave me that test, too, uh, but I had had a stroke recently, so I don't really brag about it like he did, but I do remember my five ones, which was a velvet face, but she was Dutch, so she said to me, church, and then uh, Lily and Hood. Now, I had had a stroke the day before, and I didn't know what the word church was. It was church, but if you were Dutch, you know. So I'm trying to remember these things, you know, and I'm like, church. I have no idea how to do that. But anyway, uh, since I got the letter already, I'll tell you the one thing I've learned in life. Well, the two things I've learned in life. First of all, that you want to maintain a work and life balance, if at all possible. And the most important thing is to never, ever take your work home with you which applies doubly if you're like a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> but also, a day with a stroke is not nearly as nice as a day with a stroke and an orgasm. And this applies to almost everything. You know, A day with a war is not nearly as nice as a day with a war and an orgasm. So a day with Ben isn't nearly as nice as a day with Ben and an orgasm. So that's my name, Zucati. And uh, go ahead and see yourself right. And uh, let me say you.